This is WCGR News. Your campus news starts now. Coming up on WCGR News, we open the night with a Dia de los Muertos celebration hosted by Latino Student Union and Spiritual Life. Next, we stop by the Ferguson Art Gallery to see the new exhibit, Photography and Fiber Reveal God's Beauty. From there, we celebrate a National Button Day in the KCC. We also stop by the Cafeteria Work in Cordia hosted a Thanksgiving buffet for students and faculty. Lastly, we got the inside scoop about the Cans Across the Conference food drive hosted through athletics. Thank you for joining us. I'm Jeremy Lozada. And I'm Andrew Gallup. Welcome back to another night here on WCGR News. Our first story of the night highlights the Dia de los Muertos event on campus, which celebrates the Hispanic tradition of honoring the dead. This holiday also demonstrates a strong sense of love and respect for one's ancestors. Julian Perez has a story. The Latino Student Union has recently celebrated Dia de los Muertos, or Day of the Dead, inside of the Elizabeth Ferguson Art Gallery, where they handed out treats and warm drinks to the students at Concordia University, Chicago. In celebration of Day of the Dead, or Dia de los Muertos, uh, Latino Student Union put together a couple of events to celebrate these um, celebrations that are um, highlighted in the Mexican culture. One of those things being we had an ofrenda or a altar here in this space, um, the Office of Multicultural Student Engagement Office, where students and faculty and staff were invited to bring pictures of their dearly departed to be a part of this larger community ofrenda. The Latino Student Union also gave the UCGR insight into this holiday's cultural significance and what is usually done during this time of celebration and remembrance. Dia de los Muertos is a day where we honor our past loved ones. It is believed in the Mexican culture that um, our loved ones come and visit us on that day. And we, le we leave out in their tombstones some of their favorite things they enjoyed in life. So, for example, in El Tar, where we welcomed everyone to honor all of their deceased loved ones and we had pictures of them, we decorated it, we had coca bottles, we had candy out for them, we had some of their favorite flowers, we had teddy bears, which it's basically just a day that is very much focused on keeping their memory alive. We served champurrado and pan de muerto champurrado, which is a drink that's commonly described as chocolate milk. And we serve pan de muerto, which is commonly served at an altar where we honor the dead. This has been Julian Perez reporting for WCGR News. Wow, I really enjoyed learning a lot about this tradition. Yes, it was very eye-opening to learn more about the Hispanic culture. Right, of course. Hey, <laughs> have you stopped by the art gallery recently? Well, if you haven't, there's a new exhibit called Photography and Fiber Reveal God's Beauty. This exhibit features works by CUC alumna Anastasia Camp and Sarah Nordlin, who were commissioned to create pieces based on the theme Women of Faith. The opening was dedicated to the memory of alumna Kim Lutner, who was an, an active member of the CUC community. Wow, that photography is truly extraordinary, especially the cardinal piece. The detail's incredible. I agree, 100%. Hey, Jeremy, did you know there's a holiday called National Button Day? Absolutely. You didn't? Uh, sure. Anyways, if you weren't aware, National Button Day on November 16th celebrates the function of buttons and the hobby of button collecting. The Office of Student Leadership and Involvement hosted an event where students can make their own custom buttons. Neat. Hey, is, it, is that your stomach I hear? Well, lucky for you, CUC hosted a Thanksgiving buffet in the cafeteria where you could find all your favorite Thanksgiving foods for just one meal swipe or 980. You can have carved turkey, green bean casserole, potatoes, or assorted pies in an all-you-can-eat buffet. Yum, sounds good to me. Our final story of the night comes to the athletic department and their can drive, Cans Across the Conference. This drive is in support of the CC Pillars Pantry, who are competing to collect 10,000 cans. Eric Prez has a story. I'm Eric Brito Prez, and here I'm standing besides one of the two donation bins for the annual Cans Across the Conference food drive that's being ran through athletics. Now, this isn't um, exclusive to Concordia, as there are other institutions that participate in the food drive within the Northern Athletic Collegiate Conference. 
Now, what this food drive supports is the Concordia Pillar Pantry, which uh, supports the staff and students who are in need of these uh, food items. The items that are accepted are non-perishable items such as canned goods, rice, pasta, cereal, jelly, and the list goes on. Uh, the requirements are that they must not be expired or a damaged box. Um, this bin in particular is located outside of the Craft Student Success Center right in front of the help desk as there's another one located at the front desk in the KCC. As you guys can see here there are already a handful of donations in this bin such as jello boxes and canned goods as well as mac and cheese. Now every school has their own way to go about this food drive. For the 13th annual food drive here at Concordia, student athletes go around the surrounding community from North Avenue to Chicago Avenue and Harlem to Thatcher, placing door hangers to promote this event. Those that are willing to donate to this cause are asked to place the canned goods in a bag and place it on their porch on the 10th of November for student athletes to then pick up and collect. Another event done here at CUC to support this drive was last month's Oktoberfest where coaches or staff get a pie to the face by a student after a certain amount of tallies have been reached. Now these tallies could be reached by a donation of money or a donation of a meal swipe. This year, a total of $160 was collected for this cause. In terms of the food drive, 1,200 cans were collected. This has been Eric Berto Perez, WCGR News. Wow, what a great cause. Well, that wraps up everything here at WCGR News. But before we sign off, we just want to remind everyone you can follow us on Twitter and Facebook, as well as subscribe to our YouTube channel. And from all of us here at WCGR, have a great night.